on the last part, Grandpa Gohan puts up a good fight. However, he still ultimately loses against Jackie Chun. However, during this fight, he does see through Jackie Chun's disguise, knowing that Jackie Chun is Master Roshi. Roshi and Grandpa Gohan catch up with each other as the matches progress. Chi Chi and Nam fight next, with Nam initially not wanting to hurt the little girl. However, after some convincing, Nam finally decides to unveil his true strength. Chi Chi and Nam go head to head, however Chi Chi eventually comes out on top. Goku defeats Giren in the next match with ease. Roshi who was observing this match, decided that he wouldn't hold back against Goku. If he did, he would get destroyed. As Jackie Chun defeats Krillin in the semi-finals like usual, Goku and Chi Chi step up to the arena next as they prepare to face off. How will things unfold from here? Well, these are all questions we'll answer today on Dragon Ball Z. Goku and Chi Chi step up to the tournament arena next. In this version of events, they have never met each other yet. Though Goku does have a sense of admiration for the fighting spirit that Chi Chi displayed in her fight against Nam. So Goku decides to entertain her a little bit. Sensing her key, Goku lowers his power to match hers for a more fair fight. A fight that will be determined solely by techniques. Unfortunately for Chi Chi, this match was decided before it even started. Goku has learned many techniques from Cell, including the Kamehameha, the Solar Flare, etc. At first, Goku and Chi Chi simply trade punches and kicks, both doing equally well since Goku had lowered his power. However, an after image technique, followed by a well timed Kamehameha, pushes Chi Chi right out of bounds. Chi Chi and Goku bow respectfully to each other as the stadium roars in applause. Chi Chi has literal sparkles in her eyes as she looks at Goku. Looks like she had developed a crush once again. Roshi, meanwhile, sweat drops looking at their exchange. He could tell that Goku held back. However, that further showed his martial arts prowess. Roshi thought he could outwit Goku originally. However, it looks like that would be a harder task than he originally thought. Next up, the final match of the 21st Tenkaichi Budokai, Goku vs Jackie Chun. No longer a match between student and teacher, but a fight between two strangers in this story. In the original canon of events, Goku put up a good fight, until Jackie Chun put out his trump card, the Thunder Shock Surprise. That was when Goku looked at the full moon and turned into a great ape. However, in this version of events, things go very differently. Right off the gates, Goku goes immediately on the offensive, pushing Jackie Chun back. Jackie Chun, even with his superior fighting experience, has a hard time contending with Goku's superior speed and agility. Goku was small, and he made use of his small stature to its utmost effect, dodging, weaving between Jackie Chun's attacks, landing a few of his own. Jackie Chun even tries the sleepy boy technique to try to put Goku to sleep. However, Goku being stronger than Jackie Chun simply shrugs the technique off. Jackie Chun, not wanting to resort to the Thunder Shock surprise just yet, uses the Drunken Fist. Initially, this weird style of fighting throws Goku off. However, Goku quickly adapts, causing Jackie Chun to go on the defensive once again. Having no other choice, Jackie Chun catches Goku off guard with a sudden thunder shock surprise. Goku yells in pain as he falls to the floor. This was an extremely powerful and lethal technique. However, Goku immediately stands back up, completely unscattered. Jackie Chun stares in disbelief, shocked that Goku was completely unaffected. Taking advantage of this lapse in concentration, Goku suddenly disappears and reappears in front of him, lending a solid blow to his jaw knocking Jackie Chun out of bounds. The crowd cheers as Goku is crowned the victor of the 21st Tenkaichi Budokai. Cell, who was now satisfied, leaves the arena. However, that was when he felt a familiar key signature flying towards him. 
he was honestly giving him serious deja vu. Similar to how Kami confronted him originally, they making Piccolo stands in his way once again. Cell looks at him, utterly and absolutely annoyed. Was he really gonna try again? Demon King Piccolo, however, states that Cell needn't worry anymore. This time around, he'll give him a good fight. Demon King Piccolo powers up, and for the first time since his birth, Cell genuinely feels excited. Cell laughs in delight as he powers up as well. Both of them power up to their maximum as they stand across from each other. The entire earth shakes violently. Goku senses Cell's key rise up and immediately jumps up excitedly. He wanted to go see Cell fight. However, Cell was simply too far away. He also sensed an unfamiliar yet equally large power rising alongside Cells. Goku couldn't believe there was anyone on the level of Cells, but this completely threw all his beliefs out of the window. Cell and Demon King Piccolo finish powering up as they stand across from each other as they prepare to face off. How will this fight go? And how will Demon King Piccolo defeat Cell? Or will Cell come out on top once again? Well, these are all questions we'll answer in the next part on Dragon Ball Z.